New data from the dating app Hinge reveals that three out of four singles around the world say they prefer to stay sober when dating. More than half of them say that they want to be in the, quote, right state of mind while getting to know someone. Ooh. Logan Yuri is director of relationship science at Hinge, and she joins us now because relationships are not an art, but a science. Yes. Absolutely. What is going on here? Because I'm with Paul Rudd. Sometimes on that first date, you want to have a drink to loosen up a little bit. Be your best. <laughs> I, you, I totally get it. We all benefit from that liquid courage, but this is a big trend that's happening in all parts of the country and around the world where there's a shift away from drinking. We see that Gen Z is drinking less in general. They're drinking about 20% less than millennials were at the same age. Mm. And the pandemic helped us go deep. We got to know ourselves better. Now we want to get to know our dates better. And it's easier to do that without alcohol. You don't want to wait until the sixth date mm -hmm. to see if you like the person sober. Well, one, one of the crew members here who shall remain nameless, Jared over there on the stage, <laughs> said it's not because they're, they're not drinking, but they're smoking weed. Do you think that's true? I have heard of California sober, and we did look into that. But oh. in general, what Gen Z is telling us is they want to be in the right state of mind for dating. They're very into mental health. And yeah. part of that is showing up in a sober and authentic way. And so it sounds a little scary what happened to the go-to date. But there's so many creative date ideas that you can do that don't involve going to a bar. Totally. But a lot of our Gen Zs on the staff, and we do have some, yeah. are very skeptical of this data. What do you say to them? I think this is part of a greater cultural trend. We see that even compared to a year ago, people are drinking less in general, yeah. and people feel like they lost time. They couldn't date the way they wanted to during the pandemic. They want to make up for lost time. And part of that is seeing from the beginning, do I like you or do yeah. I just like this cocktail? But Nate brought up a good point when we were talking about this segment, which is if you don't find out what your your potential partner is like when they drink until date six or seven, you might discover you got a spicy partner. You realize it. That's a good point. Yes. You want to see all aspects of them. But what right. we're really hearing from people is they're about authentically connecting right now. And part yeah. of that is showing up and going for a walk, having a great conversation. I like a going walk. A I think that's nice. I was yeah. going to say, what are some that of your... That sounds boring. Does it going for a walk? <laughs> going for a walk without alcohol? No. We but Nate, you, like you, you get a chance to have yeah. a conversation. I like that idea. What about, I used to think going to the movies was good. Going to the restaurant. Does yeah. anybody do that? Movies yeah. is a terrible yeah. idea. So one is a terrible idea? Yeah. What, what are some ideas? <laughs> movies, <laughs> we need... movies, you sit there in silence next to each other. <laughs> then I'm you not come out and you well talk about the movie. Gail, you 0 for 2 right now on date ideas. Let's talk about what makes a fun date. A fun date is something okay. where you have an experience. You can connect. Maybe there's an activity that takes the pressure off. So a popular... Activity like? like an activity like going to an archery class. Oh, going, okay, that's fun. Axe throwing, right? It's Ooh. like your adrenaline is flowing. Do you have a growth mindset? Do you like to learn new skills? And so when you like first that. think date, you think two drink minimum. But let's throw that definition of a date away and let's see how else can I connect with you without the alcohol. Well, since Nate says I'm 0 for 2, what are baby boomers doing? <laughs> We're seeing that this trend is really starting with Gen Z. So uh -huh. when we look at the ages of people, the older the people are, the more likely they are to say, of course I want to drink on a date. But I think this trend's really here to stay because I like doing it's about something. getting yeah, creative. I like yeah, I like it too. But axe throwing, I mean, if you don't like the person, you want to get out of there and you got five axes left in the bushel, <laughs> it's kind of hard to leave. No, no, just leave them. <laughs> yeah, no Even doubt. if the date's bad and you don't like the person, at least you tried something new and you had fun. And so I'm just really encouraging people, think of a creative new date idea. It doesn't have to I'm all for alcohol. it, yeah. Well, congrats, Logan, because sure. I know you got married two years ago, but you didn't really get to celebrate until recently. So, yeah. So far, so good. Thank you so much. Yes. My wedding was this past weekend. I don't know if y'all know it, but we're on our honeymoon right now. Oh, that's okay, awesome. congratulations. Yay. Walk to a movie and throw and some you're with us. Well, you're, you're already past the first phase, so get some drinks. Uh, Logan, <laughs> Yuri, we appreciate you.